Mark's gospel emphasizes the identity of Jesus. It's a narrative that is artfully constructed to have a powerful effect on the listener, where most people in the ancient world are illiterate. It is written not as a Wikipedia entry, simply to convey bare information, but to tell a story, to describe a narrative that will be profoundly moving. And that story is about the identity of Jesus, who he is. It's a dramatic narrative meant to convince the reader of this, that Jesus was the Messiah and the Son of God. And in fact, that is quite a difficult argument to make in first century Judaism, because it is striking to claim that the Messiah is one who was killed on a cross. Mark is a narrative meant to make you, the listener, rethink your conception of what is the Messiah. Messiah is a Hebrew word. It means the anointed one. The Greek equivalent is Christos. Jesus Christ means Jesus the Messiah. And Mark says, you are not going to believe me that Jesus is the Messiah. You think the Messiah is a king who will come in the line of David and overthrow the wicked enemies of God, the Romans. Mark wants to convince you that the Messiah is one who was sent to suffer and die, to endure powerlessness and a painful, shameful death. And Mark understands that that will be difficult, that people will have a hard time accepting this. And so his story is full of men and women close to Jesus who continually despite some pretty amazing evidence, that they, things they see, they still fail to understand who Jesus is. But Mark's gospel is the story of who Jesus is. And as you read it carefully, you want to notice who, which characters in the story, know Jesus' identity. And when do they know it? 